Hello sweet soul and welcome to another travel yoga class. Today we're going to practice some really yummy heart openers and we're going to get started in a seated position. Shoulders back and down, lengthening your spine, maybe closing your eyes for a moment. On your next inhale, hands over your head, palms touching, maybe look up. Exhale, hands back to heart space. Placing your right hand next to your right hip, inhale, left hand up and over, palm facing towards the earth. Grounding down through your left side of your body. If you need more space, maybe walking your right hand out more or coming onto your forearm and really lengthening through the left side. On your next exhale, returning back to center, grounding your left hand down. Inhale, right hand up and over, grounding down through your right hip lengthening through your right side of your body, maybe looking up if your neck allows and opening up your heart a little more towards the sky. On your next exhale, returning back to center, placing your left hand on your right knee, your right hand behind you, inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. Deep breaths here, maybe you can look over your right shoulder towards the back, exchanging sides, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Returning back to center, coming into a few seated cat and cows. Inhale, shoulders back and down, look up like your heart shine forwards. Exhale, rounding your back, looking towards your navel and spreading your shoulders. Synchronizing this with your breath. Return back to center and rolling out your neck in one direction. Then the other, moving slowly and gently. Returning back to center, maybe start rolling out your shoulders into one direction and then the other. If you want, clasp your hands behind you, shoulders back and down, let your heart shine forwards, maybe look up. Maybe you can start lifting your hands a little towards the sky to really open up your heart space. Slowly release, creating a cactus shape with your arms, elbows touch, on your inhale opening up and on your exhale bringing them back together. A few seated cat and cow movements with cactus arms. Coming onto your hands and knees, stacking your wrists below your shoulders and your knees below your hips. Hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width apart. On your inhale, shoulders back and down, letting your heart shine forwards. On your exhale, rounding your back, looking towards your navel. Moving slowly, maybe creating bigger movements. If you want, starting to invite some intuitive movements by rolling out your spine, going in both directions. If your body is asking for any other movements, go for it. Always listening to your body, know when to stop. Synchronizing your breath with your movements, maybe enjoying a few really big or really slow movements, whatever feels good for you today. Always respect your current stage and know that you don't always have to find your deepest expression during class. Returning back to center, bringing your weight onto your left hand, inhale lift the right hand up, exhale thread the needle, the right palm is facing up, maybe you can come down onto your shoulder, keeping your left hand where it is or bring it up and over or maybe you can find a half bind where you aim to bring your left arm on the inside of the right thigh. Try to pull your right hip a little further towards the right side to square your hips a little more. On your next inhale, pressing back through the left arm, lifting your right hand once more. Exhale, return to center. Now same thing on the other side. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, thread the needle. Finding your variation, enjoying the gentle stretch of the spine and also a little bit in the shoulders.
Inhale, pressing yourself back up, lifting your left hand once more, exhale back to center. And now start walking your hands towards the top of your mat, keeping your hips above your knees as best as possible, and start melting your hearts towards the floor. Maybe you can bring your forehead on the floor. If you're more flexible, maybe you enjoy bringing your chin to the floor. Enjoy a few deep breaths here. On your next inhale, roll forwards one vertebra at a time, finding your sphinx pose. Maybe bringing your toes together, shoulders back and down, your elbows are right below your shoulders, your hands are grounding into the floor, lengthening the spine. Placing your hands below your shoulders, elbows are staying tucked in. On your inhale, shoulders back and down, lifting your upper body up. On your exhale, mouth back towards the floor. Two more in your own time. Either stay with your baby cobra or if you want more, coming onto your fingertips, your elbows come up and over. On your inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time, shoulders back and down, look forwards, finding your intuitive cobra. On your exhale, rolling down one vertebra at a time, melting back towards the floor. Choose whatever feels good and respect your current stage. Maybe moving slower than you want to, fully listening to your body. Now bringing your left forearm parallel with the top of the mat, bending your right knee. Maybe you can grab with your right hand on your right foot, enjoying a nice quad stretch and try to square your shoulders back out to the top of your mat. If you want more, bringing your thumb to your big toe on your inhale, lifting up, pressing your hand into the foot and the foot into your hand, finding your floor bow, engaging your glutes. Exhale, release, bringing your right forearm parallel to the top of your mat, bending your left knee, grabbing onto your left toes, finding a quad stretch on the left side this time. Or again, pressing your foot into your hand and your hand into your foot. On your inhale, lifting up your left side, engaging your glutes, squaring out your shoulders. And now you can choose to find any other pose that your body's asking for or come into your child's pose. Toes together, knees further apart or close together, sinking your hips towards your heel, walking your hands towards the top of your mat and allowing yourself to sink down into your mat. Maybe you can bring your forehead to the floor and massage your forehead from left to right or finding stillness. Stay here for as long as you want to, for as long as it feels good. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through today's practice and I'll see you soon. Namaste.